Hello and welcome from the St Jakob Park, the home of FC Basel. And our live game is Udinese against Bologna. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. We can have a look at them now. the way Sissako Okaka with the ball through Silvestri deftly done Silvestri is alert to the possibilities but in the end it's fruitless Thanks. And it's Tiara. Aim forward. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Tries a through ball. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Yeah, fractional, but fractional is, is enough. He was off. Danilo. Well, bye. It's a long forward pass. Maru gets good distance on it. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Forget it. Sansone crosses one in well blocked and back out it comes oh great save real class that wasn't the easiest of saves by any means Peter and I think his instincts were well they were just razor sharp Silvestri I have to say that was an exemplary tackle stopped him dead in his tracks Tries to dink it in. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Polly. Sansone. Passes it through. Diara unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Okaka plays it out to the wing. And he's there to cut it out. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Well, the idea was crafty, but the weight of the pass was just a little light. Looks like a good ball through. Pauli. Okaka. Looks to slip it through. Glorious footwork! Turns and goes back. And it's half-time here. Reflections on the first half? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. Oh, 
And it's Polly. And the defence can get it clear. Dykes. Forward it goes. Sissako. Now the pass. Llorente has it out wide and in space. He scores! And finally, he has breathed life into the game. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Udinese take the lead, 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. That's a throw. Hit into the middle. Firmly met. So what now? Bufana tries a long pass towards the front. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. No, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Sansoni has it in a wide position, so what next? Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Looks to dink one in. Away from immediate danger was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance looked very promising yeah I think the problem there was that the pass was was telegraphed an easy read for the defense aimed long and direct throw it Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Sansoni with the ball through. They've managed to get it away. Wonderful quick feet. Spoon forward. And there goes the final whistle. Udinese, hold on.